the bulls. So a good time to get some technical perspective on the market as well. Ashish Chaturmota of Fortune Group joins us for a quick check on the market technicals. We saw that the bears have been clobbering the bulls in the last one month, in fact the last eight sessions. Mm. So what do you make of the nifty right now? Do you still see more resilience from the bear side? Um, Hi, uh, definitely see if you look at uh, Nifty charts, clearly we are trading near uh, 8 month lows which is around 8000 uh, odd levels and uh, clearly we are witnessing a very strong you know kind of a, a short build up at higher levels in terms of open interest um, uh, data. Uh, also if you look at the, the charts, the daily and weekly charts clearly indicates the lower top lower bottom formation. Uh, there is a clear weekly head and shoulder being formed, the neckline comes around 7980 kind of levels and if there is any breakdown below the 7980 levels, we are going to see a very significant sell off towards uh, 7700 or even uh, 7650 levels in that uh, uh, situation. Even if you look at uh, in terms of options data also, there is a huge concentration of puts at around 8000 levels and the next level after this 8000 comes at around 7700 puts. So clearly indicates that both technical and derivative parameters indicates that th this 8000 is a crucial support zone and if it breaks then 7700, 7650 would be the next reasonable uh, support for the markets. Hi Ashish, afternoon. Coming to your recommendations. Well, I can see a lot of sell calls. Let's start with the first one on the two banking names, Innocent Bank as well as Allahabad Bank. Yeah. Uh, see, first of all, uh, Innocent Bank, if you look at the stock, after making its all-time high has been continuously making a lower top lower bottom on the uh, daily and weekly charts now we are trading near uh, five to six month lows which is around 785 levels and today uh, we saw a, a sell-off towards 795 and again some recovery is being seen but the overall structure suggests that now this stock is clearly on a verge of breakdown and once it breaches the 785 790 zone clearly on downside uh, 760 would be the first target uh, but the overall structure suggests that the stock has a potential to even test uh, uh, 747 35 kind of levels in coming days. So we are recommending a short call on Indusind Bank with a stop above 810 for a downside target of 716 short term and 735 next one to two weeks. Uh, again, if you look at Allahabad Bank, now this stock has broken multiple monthly lows below this uh, uh, 93 levels and we have witnessed a very strong buildup of uh, a short position in most of the mid-cap PSU banks. So I think Allahabad Bank is one of the weakest uh, uh, counter in the mid-cap PSU space. Uh, I think um, uh, the, the since the stock has already broken a very crucial support of uh, 91, 92 levels, one can initiate a short at current levels, keeping a stop above 94 and on downside can expect a target of uh, 81, 82 levels in, uh, in, in next uh, 5 to 7 trading sessions. All right. One of your sell calls is India Bulls real estate itself. And the whole realty sector has been under pressure. Any particular reason for India Bulls real estate? Yeah. See, overall, we have witnessed a very strong sell-off uh, being seen in most of the counters, let it be HDIL, DLF or Unitech. Uh, but uh, we have not seen that kind of selling pressure coming into India Bulls real estate. But clearly, the structure of India Bulls real estate is also very weak because it is trading just, you know, 10 to 15 percent higher from its all-time lows. So, there exists a very strong possibility possibility that this stock also will break its previous all-time low which is around 40 uh, levels and can test somewhere you know around 37 36 levels in coming days so the overall structure is quite weak I think keeping a stop above 49 one can initiate a short call on India Bull real estate at current levels and on downside can expect a target of 14 short term whereas on the medium term I think this stock has a potential to uh, crack below uh, 36 levels as well okay and then um, two buy calls to mix it up a bit dish TV as well as Gail yeah, uh, if you look at Dish TV, you know, in last couple of trading sessions, this stock has formed a flag, pole and flag formation, uh, the breakout of which has come above 103 levels. And this breakout has come with a very strong uh, volume participation. Even if you look at in terms of open interest, today uh, we have seen a buildup of almost 6.5% on the long side. So clearly indicating this stock has a potential to uh, give another, you know, 10 to 12% upside from current levels. Uh, we are recommending a long uh, call in the stock with a stop below 99 and an upside uh, uh, recommending a target of 112 in next three to four days. However, on the position side, uh, stock has a potential to cross 120 levels. All right, uh, Ashish, how would you view a stock something like Nestle? Now, after a strong sell-off after the news, the stock has seen some momentum, some traction in the last three, uh, three to four trading sessions, up about 700 odd rupees. So, what, what would the chart suggest about Nestle? See, we have seen a very uh, good rally from lower levels and um, apart from rally, what is more important is a kind of volume uh, participation at a lower end of the range. Since uh, if you look at, uh, you know, the kind of holding which retail is uh, having about this stock is hardly 
hardly, you know, um, it's, it's very, very insignificant. So clearly indicates that the most of the holding is by uh, institutions, uh, funds and um, 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 by the parent company. So clearly indicating that this stock will not see a major downside from current levels. I think 5800 is a very reasonable support in short term. And if the stock manages to hold this 5800, then I think uh, stock can um, move towards 64, 6500 levels in next coming uh, days. Right. Uh, you also have a buy call on Gale. Yeah. You see, if you look at Gale, this is one stock which has not performed um, uh, either on upside or downside, but it has been consolidating for the last 4-5 weeks in a range between 390 to 375. Uh, today, we have seen a good amount of, you know, uh, volume on the, long, on the long side, clearly indicating that this stock looks like to cross this resistance zone of 397-398 and has a potential to test 408-410 levels. So, we are recommending a long call in Gale with a stop below 380 for an upside target of 408-410 levels. Any disclosures? A uh, few of these counters we have recommended to our clients. I do not have any personal holding in any of them. Thanks, Ashish, uh, for joining in. For